back out on another military installation aka Fort Bragg Fayetteville North Carolina aka Fort Bragg North Carolina and we're gonna do a quick run through the lot and see what the military lot has in store for us and um, what's available now the general rules apply as they did in, in former videos you know if you do see a Mustang y'all know what it is <laughs> all right we are here with the monster let me get her parked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get her parked. And then uh, there is a couple vehicles we could look at. And some that have been here for over a year. I don't see many. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see a lot of new stuff. But there may be enough to get one or two good vehicles in. Um, so we might be doing a military walk around. Slash vlog so let me park over here so nobody thinks that my car is for sale i don't want fingerprints on it it's freshly clean <sighs> back her up here i know you guys are always if i anytime if i do a video and it's less than 20 minutes y'all be like that was too short that was too short tk you can't do that i'm like yeah no, i know let me put my cat card away all right um let's go out and take a look shall we so guys, in case you didn't know, if you knew before, you know, you had to wear a mask, um, like in commissary or stuff like that. But uh, the president, the new president, uh, Biden, has passed a rule that on federal lands or federal property, you have to um, wear a mask. So now I got one on. Yeah, I was looking at it. I saw, I see a couple of them out here. What kind of camper is it? It's a Yanko. Okay. I ain't no, I ain't... Uh, one thing I like, it, and even though that was like a 20-minute conversation with that gentleman, it was super fun. I love talking to people about my car, man. Uh, let's look at this first thing that comes up. We got a Jeep Commander here. What are they asking for it? It's got 191,000 miles. Please tell me it's got the four seven. That's not. I would. I would much rather have the Hemi. I would not want to have the four seven, but the four seven's not horrible. I, I I can deal with it. AC recharged, tires, brake pads, oil, headlight bulbs. It's got 190 thousand miles. Oof. Doesn't have a price on it though. And now I made some good money on the last Commander I bought at Copart. This one is actually kind of clean, though. Oh, they want... Oh. I thought it said four. Now it says 7,500. No, I'm sorry. 7,500. Unfortunately, I think that's just a little too high for this. Uh, not when you can... Nah. If it had a Hemi, if it had the 5.7 in it, I'd probably say, yeah, you could get that. But nah. Nah, I can't do it. All right. Let's keep it moving. There's not a lot of new vehicles out here. There is an S-Line Audi I want to look at. We looked at that Infiniti last time. Here's a Chevy Cruze. <clears throat> uh, as is... As is, it says they want eight grand for it. It's got fifty-two thousand miles with maintenance records. Eight grand. What year is it? It's a two thousand and eleven. That might be a little steep, unless this is an LTZ. If it's an LTZ, where it has basically every package, it's only an LT, so it's not even an LTZ. So I'd have to say that would be a negative for me. That would be a no for me on this one but I mean it's clean I don't see any gaps major scratches or dents or dings on it it's not bad 
really be all what you guys think now i know you guys are gonna we'll go look at this thing one more time now we had this in a previous video this old 1950s ford with a uh, gm transmission and engine which i think is hilarious but it doesn't look bad um it doesn't look bad at all if you ask me look at that this thing was a thing of beauty um, it is in the thumbnail, I think, for that video a couple of videos back. 1953 Ford. You guys were asking about how much it was and whatnot. And they're looking for um, 11500 The phone number is not easily available. Oh, there it is right there. For you guys that wanted to uh, contact them about the vehicle, you guys said you couldn't see the number last time. There you go. Now you can see it and you can see that beautiful car. That said, let's keep it moving because it's going to be time for y'all to take a drink. Oh, here's something different. We got a little, little Chevy Canyon pickup truck out here. This is not bad at all. Look at this. And it's an 08 Colorado. They want 10 grand for it. Oof. And look at the dashboard. It's like I don't know if it's got sticky stuff left over from like a dashboard cover or what, but uh uh. Not ten. I don't see it. And then look at this up top. That's not a good look. This thing in the yeah. I mean no more power to him. If he can get somebody to give him ten for it, more power to him. I just I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. All right. Now we're going to go to the one that I think is going to be kind of the star of today's video. And that's going to be this Audi. Now this is an A7. It is not an S7. It's just an A7. But look at how clean this thing is, man. Whew. Now, it's a 2012 Audi A7 Prestige, 3.0 supercharged, don't even have the 4.0, ugh. They want 20,000 or best offer on this. It's got 88,000 miles. That's, I don't know if that's a, I don't think that's a bad price. 20,000? I mean, you're going to have to do some, uh, some paint work. Got a couple of good scratches there in the paint. You definitely have to do some paint work, but overall, that thing looks pretty freaking good, man. Looks pretty freaking good. All right. Now, you got another one here, but I showed you guys this A5 last time, and I don't want to be repetitive for y'all in the video. Same with all of those vehicles down that way. So, we're going to come over here and take a look at this... Uh, Mustang. I don't know if this is a GT or just a regular Mustang, but it's still a crowd killer. You know. Oh, by the way, take a drink. Now, I've seen this one listed online as well. And I think they were asking 10 for it on the on the base app. There's like an app where people can talk about stuff that's going on on post and stuff. And I think they were asking 10 for it. We'll see if that matches when we get up here in a second and look at the window sticker. They want 9,600. It's got 45,000 miles. It's a 2010. Huh. And it's an automatic. So instantly losing points. Clean though. It is, I will say this, it is a very clean bodied car, but it's probably a V6. Um, I see one exhaust pipe coming out. It's probably a six-cylinder Mustang. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you want to, you want a V6 Mustang. There you go. It's pretty. I mean, it's clean. I will give it that. It is a hundred percent clean. Definitely, will give it that. It is one hundred percent clean. Now let's go back over here and look at. This one RV that was listed for sale. 
then that's pretty much it guys we've seen everything else out here a lot of vehicles have not been moving out here at fort bragg evidently that lincoln ls is still there for three grand so i think i think that car could be negotiated down it's been here for a while i think i might be able to negotiate that one down i'm looking for a little pull behind like this instead of me having to book a hotel every time i know you're going to say but then tk what are you going to do well it means i'm not rolling dolo you know me and me and the missus will roll and i'll put the uh i'll put the car on the trailer and i'll drive that and she can pull the uh with the other truck you know we got two rams we're gonna have two rams pulling uh one can pull the car and one can pull the pull the uh the trailer 2014 coachman apex 16999 trailer plus hookups and load distribution hitch 1799 above plus Yamaha generator. I don't know if I'd pay a thousand bucks for another generator, but I guess it would depend on what it is. But there it is. Not bad. And this is not a bad way to start the vlog. Maybe we're going to go out here to commissary and I'll take... Some of you guys have never been out to a military installation or, or seen anything, but maybe we'll go to commissary, go see if there's any deals on iPads or MacBooks and things of that nature, and we'll go from there. God, man, every time... And you know what? Every time somebody admires or tells me how beautiful my car is, and then I get to see it again, you know, you just get to look at it a different way every time, and damn it, man... Not only does she got a fat ass, but them bitties, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. She's clean, man. She's friggin' clean, man. I enjoy it. Oh, I hate having to wear this thing over my friggin' ears. But now, the whole time you're on post, you're supposed to keep a mask on, but... Oh. So, we will comply with regulations. Let me mount you guys right there. Does she not want to start? Oh, I'm about to say, wait a minute. Woo! All right, let's go over to the commissary. All right, guys, that's it. I'm probably going to add something else to the video. Uh, we'll see. We've got to see what the runtime is. If it's not at least 10 minutes, I feel like I'm jipping I'm y'all, man. So we're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to roll out here outside this gate. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. I am hoping that we have good weather. Because we're supposed to be in Charlotte this weekend, but we will see. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're past the barrier. That's a good thing. And out the gate we go. We'll see you next time, Fort Bragg. Oh. And off we go. We out of here. Sweet. Sweet. All right, guys. And before we get out of here today, I want to wrap up this video. You guys were asking me, what am I going to do with this? So... I looked at possibly doing a video on how to run a car through Copart. But in order for me to run this car through Copart, it would actually cost me more money than it would probably sell for at auction. Now, I know because it turns over and it runs that y'all will say, well, it's tax time, TK. You probably could still make a decent little profit off this car. Well, 450 bucks, something like that, into this car. I don't remember the exact amount. I think that's about it, though. 450 bucks. And uh, let's get back to wide angle. So, 450 bucks into this car. And do I want to mess with it further? Not really. There's not much I can do with it. The motor you know, is absolutely done. Now, I know a lot of you guys said, well, cut the cats off, cut the cats off. So we did that. Um, it doesn't make a difference. It's still got low, low oil pressure. It's just done, man. You know, it lived its life. The motor shot. Now, I know some of y'all would say, well, TK, you already own the car. Why don't you just drop a motor in it? For what? It's not 
the type of car that you just drop a motor in. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not worth it. It's just a a crap. It's just a crap little Mitsubishi. Not to say that if you own one of these Galants, I'm calling your car a piece of crap. I'm just saying it's not worth the uh, investment. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth the time and the investment it would take. You know, this thing has to, it's disgusting. It would have to be super cleaned up. Look at all the spider webs and stuff in there, man. I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not. So, um, two things. I'm either going to sell it for like 200 bucks. I've, I've heard people say that you can get more money at scrap. Now, I figure from the videos that I've published on this car so far, and that would also be including whatever today's video does, um, I might have made 150 bucks off of all of the videos so far on this vehicle. If I sell it for 200 bucks, I'm still at a $100 loss. That's not bad, though, considering it was kind of... The content was fun for me to make trying to drive this thing home. But the other reason why I have to sell this car is I need to make space for the wind that's coming tomorrow. That's right, guys. I actually won another Copart car. And I need to have the space because back here on this portion of the property is where I keep all of the trailers. Um, you guys get you get to see all the different vehicles here. Now this is on the other side, um, and this is not the farm. This is not where you know the Aspen and the motorcycles and everything else are at. This is just here, right? This is out here on post, and I can't be having just a bunch of crap here because they're gonna get on to you for it. So. Um, I think it's time for me to maybe do a video on scrapping a car. I don't I don't know. I might just have a scrap company come pick it up. Or I may load it up because it still runs. I could drive it on the trailer. I may put it on the trailer myself and take it to a junkyard and see what they offer me for it. Let me know what you guys think. You guys vote below. Or should I do something extra stupid with it? Like... I already did, I already offered it up to the range for it to, for it to be rolling out on the range and let them shoot at it, but they don't because of recent new environmental changes. No comments in the comments. I already know people are going to comment, but because of recent new environmental changes, we will not be able to uh, blow the car up on post. So uh, they will not be shooting at it on post. They will not be able to use it for target practice. I thought that would have been an awesome video, but, you know, it is what it is. And, I, you know, it kind of lets the car go out with, like, some dignity and respect instead of going to a salvage yard where it'll be picked apart for the rest of its <laughs> picked apart for the rest of its life. Anywho, interesting. Lots of things to think about, but I'm going to let you guys help me decide what we do with it. Uh, scrapyard, do I take it there myself, do a video on having someone to come pick it up, or, 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 do I do something stupid? Y'all want to see me dump baby oil in the crankcase and see how long it is before it catches fire? Um, like, there's all different kinds of dumb stuff I could do with it. I would have to take it on the trailer and take it out to the farm because I can't do that here. Um, but we could we could definitely blow it up. We could definitely get we could definitely go in on this one. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and uh, stay tuned. Like I said, new vehicle coming in this week. You guys will see it. I don't know if you guys are going to see it on Monday. I may try to rush and get a video out, but it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. We have Copart Walk Around Monday and the live auction in Lumberton, and then we have the Raleigh auction on Tuesday, so I'm going to be super busy the first two days on top of having to go pick the car up. So, uh, there you have it. Major shout out to all you guys that have been supporting and helping me out on the channel. I really appreciate it, man. Shout out to all my mods. And all of you guys that come here in the premiere, we're probably one of the only automotive YouTube channels that does a live premiere almost every single day. So I get to interact with all of you guys in real time. And if you're missing out on those premieres, click that bell notification icon and make sure you have the subscribe button. Click so you never miss when there's a live premiere. But any guys, anyway guys, with that said, it is Sunday. You guys are going to see this video today. Um, the military walk around I think was like Thursday or whatever. But um, do have a little bit of some video content for you guys coming from Charlotte. Shout out to uh, Slimepack392. Shout out to Red Eye Rod. Shout out to Toro704. Just a couple of the YouTube creators I got to meet. I'm also going to link them all in the description down below. I also will be linking them uh, in the video from Charlotte as well. Um, 
definitely go check them out. I like to, I really like to mess with, uh, you know, I really like to help and push and promote North Carolina content creators. And uh, again, you know, and probably another one that you guys definitely should go subscribe to because he's got some big things coming is um, my main man, E Vapors, uh, on the E Vapors channel. And I know they got Car Talk TV as well. But go subscribe to them as well, um, to my to my dude E Vapors, because you know I, I'm I, I'm sure he's gonna have a lot of content. He made a bad mistake. Well, no, no, he didn't make a mistake. He made a very good content decision by buying a Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> I know. I already know the comments. I already know what y'all are gonna do in the comments. But anyways, I have stuff to do today. I need to go fix my face, screw in my plate, all that good stuff. And uh, get it moving, man. I got a long day ahead of me. And uh, if you notice, I'm dressed warm. I'm going to be in the woods today. <sighs> That's a whole nother video. Anyways, with that said, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What should we do with this? Oh, and let this be a warning. If you're at auction and you see that right there, run. <laughs> If you like today's video guys, please consider clicking that big TK's garage icon and subscribing. And if you want to see some of the other content we did, look at the videos here or right here on the left.